Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number seven, episode seven of the Backyard Football 2006 subscriber custom kid team challenge, challenge season franchise, whatever you want to call it. And we're coming off our best game of the season, shutting down the Atlanta Falcons 63 to 17 by far our best performance of the season on defense. And it really felt like we were a whole new team out there. Not only do we put up more points than ever before, but we held an opponent to the lowest score we have allowed this season. And all we had to do was flip around Tim Tebow and Yao Rico and a few of our other defensive linemen, and we got it done. And this is the formula moving forward. We are playing on the road once again after a two-game homestand, and we will be playing the 49ers. Let's get this done, baby. We'll be playing at Big Wood Park, and they have Reese Worthington, who is a very good wide receiver and halfback in this game. They also have a player named Nutsy with a Z, so that's great. But a nice, crisp, clear day in the forest. This is a very cool stadium. And Tebow did not get there in time. Hand me the ball, having to make that tackle, and that's a first down for the Niners. Scramble up the middle, and that's a broken tackle. Hand me the ball, that's a forced fumble. Hand me the ball made contact, that was broken off, and Yao forced the fumble, but the 49ers picked the ball back up. So forced fumble for Yao Rico. Fortunately, nothing happened out of it, and that's another completed pass for a first down. Hand me the ball giving chase. And no, that will be an opening drive touchdown. First play of the game for us on offense. And Junior Falk is going to be open in the flats. Had a few drops last week, so we want to avoid those. And Dante Wallace streaking down field. Big catch down to almost the 30. Doing a lot of throwing if we're playing from behind in this game. And that's a bad drop by Dante. Hand me the ball now. Sprinting past the first down marker. Good first carry. And Dante catches the ball. What a great throw by Tebow. And a good route by Dante. He just burned the defense. I don't even know if he was supposed to be running a streak, but that's what he ran, and he was wide open in the back of the end zone. Great route. Great throw. And I think Yao got there first, actually. Got a lot of pressure from Tim and Yao. Good defensive play. And once again, we are in there. That was definitely Tim that time. And that formation not working for the Niners. They come out in it again. And Tim Tebow coming right in for another sack. Three straight sacks. Yao and Tim Tebow giving lots of pressure. And it's going to be a fourth and 35. Give us that ball back. Tebow dropping back now. Nobody's open. Well, Junior is breaking open. Can he catch us over Reese? He does, but he drops it. Oh, what a horrible drop. Definitely was willing to make that pass because Junior has the height advantage, but he could not hold on to that one. Toss out to hand me the ball, and he gets the block from Dante and a first down carry. Nice job. Tebow dropping back, but there's pressure, and he evades the sack. Tim Tebow flying around in the backfield, and he is going to scramble for the first down and a little bit more. And the pressure got to him there. Bit of a late hit there from the defender right there also. Where's the flag? Oh, and Dante is wide open. My game's lagging a little bit. That's not good. And Dante is going to get down within the 10 in the red zone. Pitch out right to hand me the ball. And can he get in there untouched? Yes, he will. No need to even sprint. And we are back up on top. Well, on top of the, for the first time in this game, actually. Another forced fumble from Yao Rico, and Dante Wallace picks that up. That's the second forced fumble by Yao on the game today. Man, she is a terror on defense. We are in great position to go up by two scores just like that. Hand me the ball, getting the block from Dante, cutting it inside. Going to be close to a first down there. Tebow dropping back, dumping this off in the flats for hand me the ball, and he's going to get a good reception there. Junior Falk open on the corner, and he is going to get in the end zone, diving in there through the contact. We are up by two scores. Tebow coming in for the sack, and he gets it. Let's go. Man, our defense is so different now that Tebow is at linebacker. Tebow up the middle, and he gets the pass off, and oh no, Reese is loose. Reese is a menace in this game. That's a forced fumble by Hanmi Zabal, and Junior is there to pick it up. We are going nuts with the forced fumbles. Our defense is making a stand. We are bullying the 49ers. That's what I'm talking about. Hanmi Zabal tracked down Reese and stripped the ball out. Man, we had Reese thinking he was going to go to the end zone, but Hanmi Zabal tracking him down with the strip sack. 
pardon me, strip tackle, and Junior picking it up. Great heads up play from our defensive backs, and we have the ball back. Forcing turnovers is what is up, guys. I mean, that's that was the key. Remember, we were having way too many turnovers on our end and not forcing enough, and suddenly we are in the driver's seat. Direct snap to hand me the ball, and he's going to have to sprint away from this one. TFL for Reese. And no one is covering Dante or hand me the ball, and hand me the ball gets the block. Dante is going to be down within the 10. Why oh, is no one covering him? There's no defenders on the right side of the field. Throw in the flats to hand me the ball, and he Oh, I thought he dropped it. Somehow he caught that. He bobbled it, I guess, and that's a touchdown reception for hand me the ball. I want to see how that happened on the replay. What the heck happened there? Looked like he dropped it, but then... Okay. <laughs> weird animation, but hand me the ball with the receiving touchdown. Just like that, we are up by three scores. 28-7. to seven. Gets the pass off. Tebow tracks him down for the tackle. That's a dive right up the middle for the running back, but... Kenny Garnett is there on the tackle. Another pass out in the flats. Hammy's a ball. Oh, breaking two tackles. Wow, that receiver was showing off the power. Great play from him. And Yao is going to make this one. No, the flying dive power-up is activated, and the receiver is going to coast into the end zone. Uncontested. 49ers trying to stay alive. Toss left to Hammy's a ball. Sprinting out of the backfield to get some space, and... Going to be another carry of almost 20 yards. Got to score before half because remember, we are getting the ball at halftime. After halftime, I should say, because we are the road team. Great two-for-one opportunity here. Hand me the ball is wide open. Down to the 30. We got to move. And Dante Wallace is going to be wide open in the end zone. Nobody covered him. Blew past the defense. Touchdown, Rhinos. Tim Tebow. Throwing dots all over the field today. His receivers are making it pretty easy on him too. That's going to be a QB scramble, but we are right there. And we are getting the ball back at halftime. After halftime. I don't know why I keep on saying at halftime. But we are up 35-14, firmly in the driver's seat of this one. And man, I finally feel very confident about how this team is playing. Tebow going to scramble around a little bit. Dante gets us a block, and that's a first down carry for Tebow. Tebow scrambling around again. Not enough separation for Junior right there. And we're going to get some blocks. We can get some blocks. Well, could be a sack. We run a Hail Mary and nobody is open. Can we get some blocks, please? Tebow scrambling around, doing his best Johnny Manziel impersonation. Tebow, look at all of this space he created himself. Great play. Dante Wallace streaking towards the end zone, and he gets in there. Second receiving touchdown of the game, and our passing offense is going absolutely crazy today. Ran straight passes, defender, easy post route, diving in the end zone. Reese uses the monster time power-up, and he might get this. I don't know why the CPU always uses the, the power-ups on kick returns. They don't use it on normal offensive plays, but they'll always do it on kick returns, and they're down at about the 10. Oh, missed tackle by Tebow, and thankfully we stopped before the end zone. I'm assuming a QB dive. No! Can we pick this off? Yes, we do! Hand me the ball. No, that's Junior Falk, I believe, actually. Yep, that's Junior on the interception, and after using that power-up, the 49ers come up empty-handed. Hand me the ball is wide open on the corner. He burns the defense, and he's got a whole lot of space out in front of him, and man, we could get over 500 passing yards in this game, I think. I have a feeling. And now Hammy ball gets the toss. Easy first down carry, and they cannot keep up with us, man. Fumble out of bounds. It's okay. Can Dante catch that? He does. He breaks off a tackle. That's what I'm talking about. I am playing completely unafraid all of a sudden. I'm okay to throw it into coverage now that we've got such a big lead. Tim Tebow just throwing it up. Dante shoves a defender off and goes through into the end zone. What a test of strength right there. Spike that ball, young man. TFL there for Tebow. Choreographed QB run. I know the CPU's play is sack for Tebow. It really does seem like all the CPU teams use only one playbook, which is kind of bizarre. Nice pass breakup by Tebow. But it really does seem like these CPU teams will run like the same like five plays over and over again, no matter which opponent you play against. 
even on hard difficulty, which is kind of strange. And by the way, for those of you wondering if the reason I'm winning these games so easily all of a sudden is because I changed the difficulty, you go into options and you go into game rules, as you can see, hard and you can't even change it in the middle of the game. So I did not change the difficulty if you're saying with the reason you're winning by so many scores now and why it's so easy for you to stop the defense is because you lower the difficulty. I did not. And it's impossible when you're in the middle of the game to change the difficulty anyway. So as you can see, it's on hard difficulty. Go back, resume, and I'm in the game now. So that's how it is. That's just your proof. Just some verification in case you doubted me. Dante, wide open. He's been eating today. Junior streaking towards the end zone, and he's going to have a touchdown. Wide receivers going off today. No one even bothered keeping up with him. Tebow is having an easy time today. That's a broken tackle. And Tebow misses it, and that's going to be a one-play score for the 49ers. They are not going down without a fight. Now we got the ball back. Hand me the ball. Streaking downfield. That goes through his hands. Come on, hand me the ball. You got wide open receiving touchdown right there. Pitch out right to the ball. And he's got so much space. I don't know. Does he have a rushing touchdown? I keep on forgetting. He scored so many touchdowns, I forget who scored what. Dante Wallace wide open on the out route. And he drops that. Come on, guys. We can't drop it at this point. Dante wide open again. Please don't drop this. And he doesn't. First down. Whoa. Instant pressure from the 49ers. And we're going to have to scramble for the first down. Get out of bounds, Tim. Pitch out left to hand me the ball. And he's going to dive in the end zone. Rushing touchdown for the running back. And with the extra point, we can tie our season high for points with time to spare. Can we put up a 70 piece? Can we basketball the 49ers? Let's see if we can do it. Up oh, and they use the monster time power up again. Get back, guys. Get back. Come on. No. There we go. Come on. <sighs> so cheesy, dude. There we go. Gonna pass out in the flats. Drop. That's a catch, but only for a gain of a couple. Third and long coming up for the 49ers. And they keep on coming on the same formation, man. What are, are they doing? Oh, but it works for them this time. Catching a block on the edge in the QB. Showing off his speed for the first time today. Hammy's the ball, tracking him down. Running back, why do, oh, I was going to say, I thought that was a backwards pass and that was a fumble. I was ready to jump on that one. Very lucky that was ruled an incomplete pass and not a fumble. The 49ers are lucky, I mean. I'm not lucky. And that's a catch and, well, 49ers trying to pad their stats even though this game is long over. Can't say I blame them. I did the same thing against the Eagles. Hand me the ball, has so much space. And I'm fine taking this all the way to the end zone. I want to put up 70. I don't care if I use the ball my stamina meter. In fact, I don't even need to. There is no one within 10 yards of me. 69. And no, we're not going to miss the extra point on purpose because I'm not a child. We're going for 70. I don't care if you want me to finish a game with LOL sex number. 70-28. Nice um... Scramble up the middle for the QB. Just about a gain of five. And Reese. Very surprised that the QB has not thrown it to Reese more often. Very speedy wide receiver. That's going to be a catch from the running back. First down. So 49ers, the man, they can keep moving the ball, but it's just too little too late. And they didn't make plays when they really needed to. Diving in the end zone. 49ers playing for pride, and they've done a good job in the second half putting up scores. Going to go for one more play. Going to, you know, do my streaks play. See if we can get one more touchdown. No. Oh, Dante caught it, actually. I was worried there. I was worried that was going to be an interception. No interception. No touchdown either, but we completed that pass. And we win 70 to 35, man. Putting up 70. New season high. We keep on getting a new season high every single week. Dante, 10 catches in that game and 200 yards receiving. Great day for him, but great day for everyone overall. We're going to put four skill points into pass defense for Dante. Hand me the ball, gets two 
We're going to put him into pass defense. And Yao earns a skill point as well. We're going to give her a point for speed. Three turnovers, no turnovers. This is our first game of the season with no turnovers, guys. Big, big deal. 679 total yards, 398 yards passing. They had just four yards rushing. What a game from us. Now we can look at an update on the statistics. Hand me the ball over a thousand yards on the ground, 15 rushing touchdowns. Tim Tebow really improving that touchdowns to interception ratio. He is up to 28 touchdowns on the season. And now both Junior and Dante are over a thousand yards receiving on the season. Yao still leading the way with 52 tackles, but hand me the ball actually catching up to her with 44 tackles. He's definitely making way more tackles than a safety should, but uh, you know, hey, he's getting the job done. So very fun game there. And we are just constantly improving week after week. So we are destroying everyone else in our division in terms of rushing yards. We've got over 1,800 rushing yards. Next closest in our division is the Eagles with 600. That is crazy. As far as the league goes, we lead the league in rushing yards. Oh my gosh, we lead the league in passing by almost 1,000 yards. That is crazy. As far as defense goes, we are top six in tackles. We are tied with the Patriots for most sacks. But then with interceptions, we are definitely not even close to the top 10. We are at number 11, actually, so not that far away. And we are second in forced fumbles. So overall, our defense, in my opinion, has improved quite a bit. And we are looking good, man, heading into the next part of our schedule. We're halfway done with this season. And check this out, guys. We are playing on the road against the Cowboys. And the next week, we are playing at home against the Cowboys. I don't know why that happens. The CPU does that sometimes in these seasons where they just have you playing the same opponents back-to-back. -back. Kind of annoying, especially a division opponent back-to-back. -back, but... That'll just be how it is for week eight and week nine, playing the Cowboys back to back. But man, we just keep on improving week after week with these point totals, going from 49 points back to back to 55 to 63 to 70. Can we keep on improving on offense and on defense? These last couple of videos have been really fun. This season has been very fun overall, but now that we've finally gotten it together on defense, things are definitely getting more fun as well. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying making them. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.